Welcome to week four of Name That Riff. You guys have been patient. I've been sick over here, so I'm trying to do these once a week. But you've had plenty of time to work on number three's riff of the week. Each one of these is uh, three little pieces of songs. And I try to pick them kind of abstract. I don't want it to be super easy, you know. Um, you guys are doing really good. A few of you have gotten all three, but for the most part, man, it's uh, it's had you guys on the run. So uh, these ones are going to be good today. Um, be sure to stick around the end of this one. I will give the answer to riff of the riffs of the week, naming that riff for number three. All right, this is number four. So uh, the only thing on these that we're going to do today that I'm going to tell you is um, they're in the rock metal realm, and the first one I'm going to show you is off a 1981 album, and. The second and third are from a 1985 album. Okay, so um, stick around, you know, because we're going to do the results, like I said, to name that riff number three. I'm going to zoom in a little. All right, this is probably going to be the toughest of the bunch, all right? Here we go. You know, I'll do this. A little slower for you. Check it out. you guys man I don't know if anyone's gonna get it I mean you'll definitely know the band okay so um, 1981 on the release for that the second one um, this is a 1985 and let's see here it goes you ready again slower you know it may not be the whole riff when you're learning these okay but it's obviously rock metal right all you get is 1985 on that one um, the last one the third one 1985 release on this one as well are you ready for this let's do it it goes Again. Sure, I'll slow it down. What song does that? Alright. So it's up to you guys here. I'm really excited for your guys' answers. First one. There's one person I know that'll know it, but uh, with due reason, but the rest of y'all, I don't know. If you do know the first one, you're going to be considered one of the top fans, all right? So anyways, in the comments below, go ahead and guess away. Um, please comment here. I forward this on my Facebook page, and I'm getting a lot of guys putting answers on, on Facebook. I'd rather you come on over obviously be a subscriber click the notifications bell you know and so that you're notified all the time I think after you click it it'll give you a few more options click the one that says to be notified always that way you don't miss it right I'm subscribed to some different channels and I do that because I like their content and I want to know every time there's a new video one of them I just subscribed to the other night it's about UFOs long story okay so flip my paper over the first one, from Name That Riff number three, the tuning was flat, 
and uh, the album came out in 1981 and uh, the, the album was called Diary of a Madman and the song was called Diary of a Madman okay I gave you the verse section in that because I don't want to give away that would be like me doing this with you guys and I'll you gotta guess it and I go come on man you guys are gonna know that or if I'm showing you one it goes come on or if I'm like so I wanted to get little pieces that are gonna make you think for you true true guitar nuts out there music nuts you don't have to be a guitar player to play this game right so that was the first one from Ozzy Diary of a Madman the second one and this is the one that confused most of you guys and I know why and uh, to be honest with you that's why I I did it um, 1981 release off of Diary of a Madman but it's Believer it's a small little section in Believer if you listen to that and then you listen to the song Diary of a Madman they almost could be in the same song and that threw several of you guys for a loop man and then a lot of you were like man I know it I know it and that's what what's cool about this series that we're doing it really gets your mind thinking man especially if you're an 80s cat like me you grew up with this stuff and it's been embedded in your head you know for decades but you know you can be younger too you know and soak in this stuff and I know a lot of you are okay so uh, the third one was uh, off an album called Osmosis, so it's obviously another Ozzy song, and uh, it's See You on the Other Side. So we went with two Randy Rhodes and one Zach back in uh, 1995 on Osmosis. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing those, man. And you know, sometimes the three will be from the same band, and then sometimes they won't. Like, what do we do week two? We had Megadeth, Metallica, and Great White, you know, mixed it up. The first week, Power Wolf, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Hinder. That was really blending some uh, different genres in there. So, uh, you know, I was supposed to do the drum roll and, you know, here's the song. I didn't do the hand gestures, man. It must be, I'm sick, man, and I'm getting fevers and the fevers are dropping. But I really needed to get this up here. I was excited about bringing this new one for you. So guess away, man. Be sure you're a subscriber. Click that notifications icon. Follow me on social media. Uh, Facebook's a real active one for me. But follow me on all of them. And uh, until next time, I'm Mike Gross. Keep rocking.